Hi right, guys, me again, Nigel. Right, it's just, uh, an update on my Mirage that I'm doing for the ISM group build. Now this has given me, as you probably know, some right trouble. Right, so I managed to get it all sanded down and what have you, so everything matched and there weren't any lumps and steps in it. And then I had to fill quite a few spaces all on the wing, you know, you can still see some gaps there. All along here, the other side, in the wing roots, and by the way, this is the second application of primer to get it all sorted uh, around the radar. And I'll say I've just made a new picture that's going to come out. That's just hollow in there, so I can stick something else in uh, the proper made-up one. What I'm doing, like. Focus, wrong side, multi, well maybe it won't, but yeah, so that is basically ready for me to try and just, not re the lines but get the paint out on what have you, where I had re it, but obviously I've had to sand it down quite a lot, can you get that, there we are, so I have re some places, on the fuselage, and what have you. Thing is, I wouldn't recommend this kit unless you're very, very experienced. Uh, so, like I said when I did the inbox review, it is an older kit that's been being re reboxed, but the fit was terrible. Okay, so this has took a lot of work to get this far. Uh, like I said, it's more or less ready for paint and what have you. Uh, the wheels. They've all been painted up, sanded down, uh, and what have you, because they were some flash all over them, and what have you. I've done the the drop tank, a couple of the uh, sidewinders, <coughs> and uh, one of the other bombs that will go on once it's all finished. Uh, yeah, so that's basically it on the Mirage. The Mosquito, at the moment, all I've got, I've only put some clear on it, the gloss, for the decals, and so I can weather it. But what I'm going to do on the decal, you see, where is this? I'm going to try and trace it, and then cut out the decals to the size I want. Then I saw uh, Gilbert on uh, Red Dragon Works, how he weathered his uh, decals for his... Uh, Sherman, I think it was, but can't remember. Yeah, for his shirt, for his little Sherman, and that I think is how I'm going to try and do the decal on that because obviously they will get burnt off first and the paint. That's why there's probably <coughs> a bit more paint around there. Okay, uh, I'm probably going to put a a black wash on it to start with. Uh, just mainly round where the round um, round these sort of areas, you know, where the paints to give the impression of that it's burnt off. And you know, when you get paper and you burn it, it gets a black mark round it. Don't want well, the black mark, the singed bit. So that'll be a start round these sort of areas, and then it'll probably be on with some more another uh, tap oil, maybe a little bit thicker, but with a sponge. So like dab it on, so it looks like, you know, soot and what have you. Uh, and then after that, uh, I don't know, might be some pastels and what have you. And uh, I'm going to try and fade the uh, the actual camo that's on there at the moment. Try and fade that back a bit so it doesn't look as start or bright. Because it's obviously it's been blasted with intense heat so it's going to get dull. Where... The the wood sort of effect. That's gonna hopefully, if I can find me satin out, that's gonna be sort of like a satin finish. And uh, the camouflage will be a matte finish, touch wood. Okay. Uh, yeah. So that's basically that on the mosquito. That I'm gonna try and do this week, and I'm gonna save this the mirage for the weekends. Uh, yeah. So that's them too. Uh, just a couple of shout outs, one to Daddy Cool 
273. He's done some brilliant build. He's a Rebel 1700 US Indianapolis. Oh, wow, that's fantastic. He did that for a the uh, the World War II group build, and he's doing it on a diorama in the sea. And wow, that is superb. And he actually on his uh, channel. He actually uh, goes into how he did the water effect, which he learned from somebody else. But it's great that he's, you know he's actually shown us how to do it. So us having to try and find uh, find out how to do it, right? Uh, so that's Daddy Cool Two Seven Three. Uh, next one is I hope I say this right. He's Regling. I think he's uh, from Sweden or somewhere like that. And that's C E E S. R E G E L I N G. Uh, he's just uh, just seen a, a diorama of a zero with two Toyota trucks. Uh, wow, it's fantastic. The the zero itself is superb, but he's done a a dial with the well the, the earth has been backed up against some uh, trees, so the trees are all being cut down, are all interlinking together around and what have you with the two trucks coming round. And wow, it looks superb. Uh, two little Toyota trucks, uh, one's an uh, engine starter and one's a fuel bowser, uh, going up to refuel the Zero. And it is, it's it's absolutely brilliant. Really is really good. So yeah, check those two out. Because, uh, you know, they deserve a mention, they deserve uh, as watching those videos, because some of them are brilliant. Uh, and just a quick one for Cohen. Thank you for the shout out the other day, mate. Uh, well, I said in this in the school at the moment. I think they're just waiting for him to get delivered. But hopefully, I'll be finished my course early on Friday, so I can uh, I might be able to get ask ask them how it's going and what have you. But we'll if once soon uh, I find out what's happening, I'll I'll let you lads know how it's going on. And just another quick one. I've got an, an idea for a, a group build. Here on YouTube, just my phone slipping. Stay. Uh, so I'm just gonna find that this out there and see see what you think. And if anybody's interested, let me know. I'm thinking about starting November December time. I'll say I've got to get these two finished, uh, and then we'll see where we are. What have you? Okay. Uh, I'm actually thinking of maybe a North African campaign, you know, Second World War, nine, uh, June 1940 till uh, May 1943, and it can be anything. If it flew, <coughs> if it drove, if it, whatever, infantry, ships, if they were out there and what have you. As long as it served during that period, June 1940 to May 1943, <coughs> in North Africa, uh, we'll get it a go. So just let me know who's interested. If we get enough interested, we'll uh, have a look at, you know, seeing what we can do. All right, because I think I'm going to do the uh, the kitty hut, Italy kitty hut that I've got upstairs in my bedroom. Uh, and like I said, if somebody wants to join me on the build, there we go. All right, I think that's everything. Oh, yeah. I know I keep mentioning uh, ISM. Down the bottom in the description part, there's a link and every single one of my videos to ISM. So click on it and it should take you straight there. Go and check it out. Even if you just have a look and what I do. If it's not for you, it's fair enough. Uh, as Colin said the other night, it's it's a br brilliant forum that it's like, you know, a group of lads have just got together and you know, <coughs> might not be drinking, but you know, have met in a pub and but we're talking through the computers and what I do. It's you know, a, a good group of group of lads. And I think it's uh, up to about 830. So go and check it out. If, like I said, if it's not for you, it's fair enough. But yeah, it's cracking. All right, and I think, I think that's it. All right, so I will see you on my next video, which hopefully might be once I've got the decals on the mosquito. So that's going to be, up. I'm going to do it next couple of nights uh, if I'm up to it after my course. All right, so I'll see you later. Ta-ra for now. Bye.